Hey guys, just another quick workshop update. I've been not as busy as I was, but I've been kind of busy around here. And just wanted to bring you along. My miter station is basically done. Other than the fact that I may put some, some shelving kind of storage area here. Because of the size of this workshop, I need to utilize every inch that I've got. <laughs> for storage and uh, workability, that is. So, yeah, this is like a super over-constructed bird feeder. I had a bunch of pieces of wood lying around that I just kind of ripped and mitered and 45 screw drilled, caulked, blah, blah, blah. And it's going to get a um, coat of paint and then it's going outside for the birds. The CNC, I'm still waiting on my new computer to run it. That's supposed to be here this coming Wednesday. And today is uh, Sunday the 31st. My God, tomorrow's October, um, November 1st already. This corner workbench is a junk collector. I don't know, it comes in handy. The router table, I finally made a stand for it. I bought some wheels, some locking wheels. So I can roll it around and, you know, put it where I need it, depending on the wood length that I'm working on. The DeWalt planer. God, I love this thing. This thing does such a great job. A little bit of snipe, but if you adjust it, and I haven't done that since I've been in the New York house, but if you adjust it correctly, it's, it's not bad at all. It's totally acceptable. The workbench... The table saw fits under it, and this is a rigid saw. I forget the model number. Maybe you can see it there if it even is there. But the motor is starting to make some noise. So I'm thinking about the DeWalt 10-inch contractor's table saw. I uh, watch a bunch of videos. It's available locally, and I think that would be a pretty good option. The little shelf, starting to get things organized. The little cheapo uh, Porter Cable Grinder and the stones suck, as you can imagine. So I'd like to get a good stone on one side and a wire wheel on the other. My chisels, I finally made a mount for those. The kitchen area is actually coming along pretty well. I've got to do some trim work, some staining, and get my cooktop cut out. But we're doing what we can on our budget. The Dynaglow smoker is still working as our shop heater. And it's kind of burning the paint off. But I've been burning it kind of hot and it's a Frankenstein at best. So, obviously the lighting is all in. My ceiling is just about done, but I ran out of material, so I have to get some more material. My door is still not finished. I have a tarp over it because it's been chilly here in the mornings. And when I come out, I want to try to keep it as warm as I can in here. So I covered that with a tarp. I still have to get the barn door hardware for the sliding door. I'm pretty sure that's the way I'm going to go. I'm not sure if I'm going to hinge it. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the sliding hardware. The CNC machine, of course, um, like I said, waiting on the computer that's supposed to be here this coming Wednesday. And yeah, just, just a quick update on the shop. I ran out of plywood for the floor, the second layer. If you watch the other videos, you'll understand that. So we are getting there and I still have a lot of work to do. I realize that. But hopefully it won't be long um, and we'll be good to go. You guys have a great Sunday night and we'll talk soon. Take care.